cardiovascular drugs are a class of medications that are administered to affect the functionality of the heart and or blood vessels. We created this video to cover the medical definition and provide a brief overview of this topic. So if you're ready, let's get into it. When it comes to pharmacology and respiratory care, most people only think about the medications that are given to affect the lungs. The heart and cardiovascular system is often overlooked. However, it's important to remember that respiratory therapists are trained to provide care for patients with conditions of both the lungs and the heart. That is because these two work together to pump oxygenated blood to all of the other organs and tissues of the body. Therefore, if a disease is inhibiting the functionality of the heart, it could inadvertently affect the lungs as well. All of that to emphasize the fact that cardiovascular drugs are an important class of medication to learn and understand. The most common types that are used in respiratory care include inotropic agents, antiarrhythmic agents, vasodilators, antiangina drugs, and vasopressors. Inotropic agents are a class of medications that increase the force and contractility of the heart. They are often administered to patients with congestive heart failure. Some examples include digitalis and digoxin. Antiarrhythmic agents are a class of medications that are administered for the treatment of cardiac arrhythmias. Some examples include amiodarone, procainamide, verapenil, and lidocaine. Vasodilators are a class of medication that are administered for hypertension and they work by dilating blood vessels so that blood can flow more freely. Some examples include nipride and primacor. Anti-anginal drugs are administered to treat chest pain and prevent angina attacks. Some examples include nitroglycerin and isodil. Vasopressors are a class of medications that increase blood pressure and work by inducing vasoconstriction. Some examples include epinephrine, norepinephrine, dopamine, and dobutamine. Again, for this video, we just wanted to provide you with a brief overview of this topic and give some examples of these types of medications. We'll be breaking down each of these types of drugs into much more detail in separate videos. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. And if you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other helpful resources. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.